Hello everyone, welcome back. We are uh, getting ready to try to do some spring tillage, plowing, all sorts of good stuff here this morning. <coughs> we, uh, last video I talked to you guys about the uh, cover crop issues. Right there it is. So we've got this set of plows. We've got our coulters on. We've got them adjusted, I think, to where they'll need to be. We're going to set our plows up. And uh, I know I went over this before, but here we go. We want, uh, what we want with our plows is for them to be running straight. In other words, if you draw a line off the edge of this tractor tire, that beam of these plows, this portion here, is perfectly parallel with that line. It gets plow straight in working position. In other words, when the tractor's in the fur, the plow's behind it, we want the plows level front to back, side to side. Uh, in order to adjust the pitch of those beams, we adjust our bar here front to back we adjust our top link left to right we adjust our adjustable lift arm so uh with the coulters i'm running them you can see the depth i'm running them may be too deep may be too shallow i've got levi on the john deere with the field cultivator ripping this up this will be the next field we plant uh so the idea there is to loosen everything up and then we will uh, go from there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start this thing down the, uh, down a fur here and then uh, I'll go to adjust it because I've got them, oh yeah, left to right. You want the same width from the inside of that tar as there is between these two plows, 14 inches. I'm guesstimating it, eyeballing it. Uh, let's see what we can do. See if we can get them set up properly. Having them set up properly in tough plowing condition is more critical than in uh, better plowing uh, conditions. So uh, here we go. Okay. I come down that fur over there, uh, making adjustments the entire time. And I'm still adjusting a little bit but uh, as you can see we're slowly getting her dialed in it's still probably gonna we're probably still gonna have some uh, some issues with it uh, balling up but uh, that's just gonna be part of it I'm afraid so uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah I think it's uh it's just gonna be uh, mean to plow either way we do it. But you can see we're starting to get a pretty good uh, flip. Also, uh, the reason I say they need to be properly adjusted, the way the plow's designed to turn the sod, if it's, the way it's designed to plow, if it's adjusted to that, it'll do a better job plowing. Also, the speed. These are, these plows according to the Ford book on them, are designed to plow between four and six mile an hour. Well, in this mess, I can't hardly run that. So, uh, but you know, if if I need to speed up uh, or slow down as well. So uh, let's see what we can do here. It may turn into a mess. So uh, just hang on, we'll, we'll see what they look like.
multiple adjustments. Uh, I got the plows where I wanted them. Uh, then I adjusted the coulters. I adjusted them deeper, shallower, until I found the spot that they seemed to do the best. And then I played a little bit with the depth of the plows, not much, because I want to stay within that zone of uh, seven to eight inches. And uh, then I adjusted my speed, faster, slower, and I kind of found the sweet spot. Uh, am I still rapping? Yeah. Uh, it's going to happen. The goal here is to get this properly plowed. So if it... Uh, you know, if I have to get off occasionally and clean the plows out, that's one thing. If I have to stop every 30 feet to clean them out, that's another one. So, you know, I'm typically... Uh, with this set up, the way I've got them set up right now, I'm going to lap or two cleaning the plows out. Now one thing also that's hurt me, and it kind of dawned on me a minute ago, it was brutally hot here yesterday. We were up to about 90, which is unusual for us. And it is uh, maybe 9 o'clock in the morning right now, and it is already hot. They're calling for some thunderstorms. But, I noticed, the reason I tell you that is I've got another pair of shorts. <laughs> so when I get off to, in this uh, wheat to clean the plows out or whatever, uh, my legs are getting wet. Well, uh, you ain't got there to put up hay, or mowed hay or moving hay, you know that wet grass wraps worse than dry. So uh, that's another thing that I'm battling. I have noticed on the side where the sun's hit, where it's drier, it tends to wrap less, whereas on this side, where it's not dried off as much, it's still wrapping a little more. But, uh, We'll take our time, we'll fight our way through it, and we'll get this plow. They're doing, like I said, they're, they're doing pretty good. Uh, the ground is also very compacted, so uh, that don't help, but uh, we're getting it. So, uh, fire with us, we'll see, what, see if we can get this field knocked out, and then that'll be the end of the plowing for the year. Uh, I'm glad it all wasn't like this, but anyhow, here we go.
But the big thing is it's plow. Uh, that's what we were after and uh, that's what we were able to do. So uh, once again, I'm gonna try to get this knocked down. And, uh, Levi and the guy farm with and one of those fields down there with the field cultivators ripping, ripping it up. We really need some rain on this ground <coughs> for it to work up good. And uh, forecast is for rain today, so it, the ground's dry. It is dry, dry to death. Uh, you'll notice I'm just kind of crawling along here. Uh, the reason for it, I'm too old to get my brain to beat out by a tractor. Uh, but anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll take you along for this, see if we can get this done. It is hot again today. Uh, I'd say it's close to 90 today. So, anyhow, here we go.
ground need some more stranding to really work up the way I want it to work up. So, uh, looks like we're about done for the day. Uh, kind of hope we are. This is a rough, this particular uh, knocking ground down with a disc after it's been plowed like this is pretty rough in the seat of a tractor. Uh, and doing it all day will wear you out. But anyhow, if you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, you know we put up a video. If you have a question or comment, please do so. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, when we're into something else, or the same thing, everybody take care of yourself. Be safe out there. We'll see you.